Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sipaha. My topic for today is the difference between may presume, shall presume and conclusive proof which is described under the Indian Evidence Act. Let's start with the meaning of presumption. Presumption is a very common term which is often used in a day-to-day -day life. But if we look at the dictionary meaning, it is an idea that is taken to be true on the basis of probability or the act of believing that something is true without having any proof. Presumptions are either of law or fact. Presumption of fact are inferences which the mind naturally or logically draws from given facts irrespective of their legal effect. It means assuming something is true or false without getting all the information necessary for verification. But in the courtroom, the invocation of presumption shifts the burden of proof from one party to the opposite party. Broadly, there are three types of presumptions. The first is presumption of fact, second is presumptions of law, and third is mixed presumption. The first one is presumption of fact. These are those inferences which are naturally and logically derived on the basis of experience and observations in the course of nature or the constitution of the human mind or springs out of human actions. That means, for example, if in a crime scene, if a person is standing before the dead body with a knife in his hand, it is presumed that he has committed a murder. So, these are also called as material or natural presumption. A presumption is a rule where if one fact which is known as the primary fact is proved by the party, then another fact which is known as the presumed fact is taken as proved if there is no contrary evidence of the same. This is a standard practice where certain facts are treated in a uniform manner with regard to their effect as proof of certain other facts. The second one is presumptions of law. Presumptions of law are those inferences which are said to be established by law. There are two types of presumptions of law. The first one is Reportable presumptions of law and second is irreportable presumptions of law. The reportable presumptions of law are those presumptions which hold good until they are disapproved by evidence to the contrary. Generally in the criminal case, the defendant is considered as innocent until and unless he is proved as a guilty. But in irreportable uh, presumption of law, these are those presumptions which are held to be conclusive in nature. That means there is no chance for rebuttable. They cannot be overturned by any sort of contrary evidence, however strong it is. The third one is mixed presumption. These are certain inferences which can be considered as observation of law due to their strength or importance. These are also known as presumptions of mixed law and fact and presumptions of fact recognized by law. Section 4 of Evidence Act describes various types of presumption. The first one is may presume. As the word may itself indicates that the may means to take a permission or it can be. So it is something related with the discretionary. It explains that whenever it is provided by this act that the court may presume a fact, it may either regard such fact as proved unless and until it is disproved or may call for proof of it. It is reportable in nature. The second one is shall presume. The word shall again indicates that it is mandatory in nature. So whenever it is directed by this act that the court shall presume a fact, it shall regard such fact as proved 
unless and until it is disapproved. So may presume is discretionary in nature. That means it may be rebuttable, but shall presume is mandatory in nature. There is no rebuttable presumption in this. The third is conclusive proof. When one fact is declared by this act to be conclusive proof of another, the court shall on proof of the one fact regard the other as proved and shall not allow evidence to be given for the purpose of disproving it. Let's discuss the difference between may presume and shall presume in a clear manner. As the word may itself denotes, it express expressing possibility or expressing or seeking permission. Whereas shall itself denotes a strong assertion or intention or determination. The word may presume may also be called as presumption of fact, natural presumption, permissive pre presumption and rebuttable presumption. Whereas shell presumption may also be called as presumptions of law, artificial presumptions, obligatory presumptions and rebuttable presumptions of law. May presumption do not constitute a branch of jurisprudence, whereas shall presume constitute a branch of jurisprudence. May presume is described under first clause of section 4 of Evidence Act and shall presume it described under second clause of section 4 of the Evidence Act. May presumes are natural, permissive and rebuttable whereas shall presume are artificial, obligatory and compelling. The expression may presume gives a wide discretion to the court. That means to presume a fact as proved or to call for proof of it. Whereas the expression shall presume gives no discretion to the court but to accept a fact as proved unless and until it is disproved. Section 86 to 90A, 113A, 114 and 114A of the Evidence Act provide the necessary presumption for may presume. And Section 79 to 85C, 89 and 105, 111A and 113B of the Evidence Act provide necessary presumptions for shall presume. The next important term is conclusive proof. The word conclusive itself denotes approving that something is true or ending any doubt. When one fact is declared by this act to be conclusive proof of another, the court shall, on proof of one fact, regard the other as proved and shall not allow evidence to be given for the purpose of disproving it. When the law says that a particular kind of evidence would be conclusive, that fact can be proved either by that evidence or by some other evidence which the court permits or requires. When such other evidence is adduced, it would be open to the court to consider whether upon that evidence the fact exists, exists or not. There are certain sections which are pertaining to conclusive proof. The first one is section 41 of Evidence Act. It lays down that final judgments in probate, matrimonial, admiralty or insolvency jurisdictions are conclusive in certain respect. Next is section 112 of the Evidence Act. It lays down that if a person is born during the continuance of a valid marriage between his mother and any man or within 280 days after its dissolution, the mother remaining unmarried, then unless non-excess is proved, it is conclusive proof of his legitimacy. Third is section 113 of the Evidence Act. It lays down that a notification in the official gazette of a session of territory to 
a native state is conclusive proof that a valid session took place on the date mentioned in the notification. Section 82 of the Indian Penal Code is another one. It lays down that nothing is an offence which is done by a child who is under 7 years of age. This is all about the difference between may presume, shall presume and conclusive proof. Hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you want the detailed notes, you may visit to my website that is priyasipaha.com. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.